Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to you all. Uh, our group will be presenting about maritime and MRT law under the topics the stages of ship sale and purchases. So uh, we have uh, we is uh, consists of two members and uh, my name is Muhammad Nabil bin Muhammad Izam and my partners uh, is Mi Iskandar bin Muklis. Okay, so without uh, wasting any time, we will uh, we will uh, go through about the intro. And what is ship sale and purchases? Okay, ship sale and purchase uh, is the buying and selling ships in the maritime industry process. Okay, uh, so the stages means procedure. So uh, the ownership of the ship uh, will look uh, will offer uh, will. Uh, looking for buyer or they hire a broker to help them to look for buyer of for their ship okay they uh, the stages consist of uh, surveying the uh, ship surveying the ship uh, of the buyer uh, for the buyer uh, side they will uh, 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 in, uh, look for market research and vessel selection and then after they uh, they have found their uh, desired ship, they will uh, approach the broker or the ownership it's itself of the ship to uh, negotiation the, uh, negotiate the price of the ship, and they will uh, go through the payment and the documentation so the buyer can uh, get their ship uh, into their own. Okay, next I will pass to my uh, uh, member to explain to you. What about is uh, the market research? Assalamualaikum and greeting to Miss Aina. So, uh, my name is Kanda Bimoklis. So, for the first stage of the ship sale and purchase, which is the market research. So, uh, in the market research, the buyer conduct research to identify the ship uh, of, uh, I mean, they need and the, and the prevailing market condition. So in this point, what uh, in market research, what they what it's gonna say is, uh, before we buy the anything, we need to gain the information in by researching. Uh, so at this point, uh, we can we know what uh we what we need to uh the our information about the vessel so they may seek assistance from they also they may seek assistance from the ship broker or other other than that or use the online platform to gather information so the next point is after the after they're making the research they gathered all the information about the vessel and they need to do uh, to go to the next step which is the vessel selection which is once the buyer determine the requirement, they, uh, they identify potential vessel available for sale and match their criteria. So the ship broker also play the crucial role in this point to connecting buyer with the seller uh, and facilitating the vessel sele selection process. Now we will be talking about the negotiation. So uh, the buyer, uh, the negotiation part, the buyer and the seller will be negotiating about the price and the terms of the sale. So uh, when the buyer is uh, represented, usually represented by the broker or uh, legal advisor, uh, they will uh, uh, they will be having a conversation of negotiating process with the seller about the price, about the price and the terms of the sale. What is the term of sale? They will be checking about the market value of the ship and uh, the vessel's age, uh, how long the uh, vessels has been uh, there existing uh, from the building of the ship until uh, the process of uh, selling the ship. And then they will demand about the uh, condition of the ship, if the ship is good or not to, uh, to be purchasing and so on. Okay, uh, this is similar uh, with the uh, common uh, higher purchasing uh, of land vehicles, example like cars. Uh, we also demand about the condition and the market value, recent market value also existing with uh, buying the ship. Okay, and about the vessel's age, it's like a buying a 
second hand car all right uh, it also uh, it also applied to buying a new uh, ship also so that is negotiating okay when uh, they are satisfied with the negotiation of the price and when the buyers disagree with the price they will be uh, they will be uh, approached to uh, having uh, inspection and survey on the ship okay to make sure the ship is uh, uh, good in condition or not okay they will be uh, having a inspection to inspect about the ship's condition and then the ship condition and then the machinery and then uh, with the uh, documentation whether it's seaworthy still seaworthy or not all right uh, for the inspection they are divided in two parts okay one is for the physical inspection and two is the document documents inspection okay for the for the physical inspection is uh, they will be inspect the ship is uh, still uh, good in condition or not and they will inspect the engine the machinery is uh, uh, always in good in maintenance and uh, the ship is uh, have the faulty part or not okay so also uh, to ensure the safety uh, of the ship okay uh, before they buy okay so for secondly is for the uh, document inspection for the document inspection they will uh, inspect about the ship's class and certificates uh, record which reveals when and how uh, for, of the how the maintenance uh, took place uh, before the uh, selling uh, uh, procedure because uh, like we are buying a car so we need to have a, a service book service logbook example for a car uh, you need to check the service book whether the car is uh, properly uh, serviced or not properly maintenance or not throughout the usage okay same goes uh, same goes to the ship okay we need to know uh, whether it uh, good in maintenance or not all right and they also uh, they also need to check uh, for the more the mortgages and maritime line records uh, would be checked as well so to avoid any legal issue uh, of the ship so the next stage is uh agreement and payment so once the inspection is satisfied by the customer so the buyer and the seller draft uh, and finalize a sale and purchase agreement uh, stand for SPA so the SPA outline the term and condition of the sale including the vessel description uh, price purchase price purchase time delivery date and other than uh, agree upon the provision so that's for the agreement so for the payment also the buyer typically pay a deposit usually the percentage of the purchase price into the escrow account so the uh, the escrow agent hold the fund until the completion of the sale ensuring security uh, both the both party so the remain uh, payment is usually set during the delivery uh, i mean vessel delivery so uh, after the pay uh, the payment is done the seller will deliver their ship to their customer to the buyer uh, who inspect it and accept by the ownership so the necessary uh, after they get the ship uh, the the necessary documentation they need is the bill of sale uh, is prepared to transfer ownership from the seller to the buyer so other than in, other than the important document they they need to uh, is the registration of certificate deletion certification and any other requirement permit or lesson maybe uh also apply the insurance uh, on of the ship so the party uh, involve work closely with legal professional to ensure all the paperwork is in the order thank you uh, that's for all the stages of the ship and purchase